my morning skincare routine. So on this channel, I post a lot of fashion, travel, lifestyle videos and some vlogs of my life in Shanghai and Melbourne. Let me know if you like the beauty skincare videos and I'd be happy to film more for you because I am obsessed with skincare. Also, I post some bilingual and Chinese videos from time to time, so click subscribe if you like to see more. I wanted to film this so many times but I keep waiting for my skin to clear up and I thought you know what it's never going to be perfect so I might as well do it. Just a quick lowdown on my skin. I have sensitive, very dry skin. I'm allergic to a lot of makeup products and a few skincare products as well. So I try to stay away from drugstore skincare brands or at least test them on my face first. Now we're coming out of winter in Australia so my skin gets very dry and crackly because of the heating and the radiators and also we're coming out of a cold. I don't know if you can hear it through my voice so the nose and like upper lip area the skin is just recovering it is still flaking and dry I don't get a lot of acne per se but usually around my time of the month I get this like triangle shape here so I get pimples either on the chin like just one or two big ones or around the nose on the upper lip sometimes I get little bumps on my foreheads but they're usually not like big pimples at the moment you can see that this area is quite red I've got a lot of like scarring redness and just redness here in general and I don't have like dark dark bags but I get like red bags under my eyes so that is my skin lowdown let me know what type of skin you have at the moment these are the products I've been using in the past two to three months that work for me do keep in mind that everyone's skin is so different even if you have the same skin type as me the same products may not work for you I also rotate my skincare products a lot because I'm obsessed with skincare so I'm always buying more and trying more but some of these brands and items I have been using for a probably a couple years. So sit back and relax and let's get my skincare in. So usually I start off my morning with a cup of warm lemon and honey tea. I've got it right here and I'll probably like guzzle this within the first 10 minutes. So first things first is cleansing my face. Even though my skin is dry, a lot of people don't cleanse in the morning because they're like, you know, why not? But it just feels a little bit dirty, it doesn't feel fresh. So the cleanser that I've been using at the moment is the SK2 Facial Treatment Gentle Cleanser. This one has been in my favorites in previous months. I only do have like a travel size sample of it and it is basically gone so I'm going to squeeze it out for DLI. So I really really love this cleanser but I cannot deal with the price of it. So in the morning, obviously I haven't worn makeup while I was sleeping, so I just want something gentle. This is a really gentle foaming cleanser, and it just gives you that extra awake feeling. So let's get all this hair out of my face and wash it. Do you like my top stuff? Then I grab this. Let's see if we have any product left over. Oh, there we go. And I squeeze out a pea-sized amount. And with my wet hands, I kind of work it into a foam first. You can also wet your face if you would like, but I usually do it on my hands because otherwise my face will drip everywhere. And I make sure to always get my chin and my nose and like the side bits. And just the bits of skin that are a bit more textury, a bit more bumpy. The teasing. I really, really, really get pimples on my cheeks, so I don't do too much there. Just a bit of gentle motion. And I like to bring it down here because sometimes I get an odd spot on like the edge of my chin. So straight after cleansing, I like to spray my Myra Badescu facial spray with aloe, herbs and rose water. This has been a new item that I've incorporated in the past month because my skin was so dry. And you can see that I've already used so much because I just spritz this four to five times a day. I don't know if it actually works a charm, but it makes my skin feel refreshed and it's nice to just have a little like bit of facial mist going on. So I will put this on straight after cleansing and usually if I come out of a hot shower in the morning, I will spray this as well just to keep my skin hydrated after like all the steam and the heat of the water. So the next step um, is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I've probably been using this for almost five years, I think. I used it on and off because I didn't see that much of an effect when I first started using it and it was so expensive because I used to always see my mom using it. So I just grabbed it from her um, but after one year away from it, my skin was just really, really terrible in general. So I've incorporated it back into my routine again. It is quite pricey, but I think it's just one of the staples in my routine that I will always have. Even if I have a cheaper moisturizer, I think I would always go with this toner. And I just put about two to three drops on my hand and just kind of pressed it into my face. A lot of people do use this with a cotton bud, but because it's so expensive, every drop counts, and I do not want my cotton bud to take up any of this. So a bottle of this size, about 75 mils, will probably last me 
four to five months, maybe almost half a year. That's if I don't spill it or drop it anywhere. So if it's in the morning, I will sometimes follow up with a vitamin C serum and this is The Ordinary. This one is the Asorbyl Glucoside Solution 12%. I think it is the smaller, like weaker version of the vitamin C serum. If you're just starting to use this, you can mix it with other serums or your toner just to kind of dilute it a little bit. So it is for brightening and I feel like my skin does get really, really dull. It gets really sick looking if I don't do anything about it. So I put about two drops of this. It gets a little bit sticky. I don't use it too often, maybe like three times a week. And just like the toner, I kind of push it into my face. One moisturizer that I had been using that actually works really, really well, but is super expensive, but I thought I'd mention it anyway, is the La Mer Moisturizing Cream. I used to hate it because it is so thick and chunky, but then I realized I was putting it on wrong. So you scoop it out and you kind of warm it up between your fingers and then you press it on your skin. At first I stopped using it because I didn't think it was making much of a difference for its extravagant price, so I left it in Melbourne, but every time I came back to Melbourne, I would use it. But for some reason, every time I came back to Melbourne, I had really nice skin, so I think I can correlate it with this product but it has run out so if anyone knows any droops for this cream please let me know because I'm not repurchasing that one so the moisturizer that I've been using recently which is a shocker I stole it from my dad he has eczema and really really dry facial skin so I found this moisturizer in his room and it's the red wind sensitive skin sorbolene moisturizer 10% plant derived glycerin restoring with vitamin E I think you can just buy this from like Priceline or chemist warehouse and oh my gosh, my skin was so dry. Basically nothing was working and this is the only product that worked and it didn't sting because I find Sorbolene usually is really thick. Um, but this one is more watery somehow. Like, it looks like a normal cream, but when you put it on your face, it really smooths out super quickly and it also didn't sting. Every other moisturizer that I put onto my dry skin just kept stinging. It does go on white, so you do have to kind of really push it into your skin for it to go away. And this one was probably only like $5, $10, so what a bargain and what a sit down from that Lemon moisturizer but still working just as well. I do also use the Laneige Water Bank Moisturizer but that is a whole other ordeal because there's like 8 steps to that routine so I will film a separate sort of Asian skincare routine. So usually after this step, if I have time and I can be bothered, I get a jade roller. I've been doing this for the past two months. It is very gimmicky, but I like it because if I get really puffy eyes and the jade's really cold, I just kind of put it over my eyes and I feel like it de-puffs my eyes just that little bit. I also like to roll this when I have a sheet mask on just so I can push in the liquid a little bit more. And I feel like this just helps to push in my moisturizers and my serums a bit more. I don't know about its healing properties or how good it is for your skin and how miraculously it'll make your pimples or whichever disappear or wrinkles, but it is good for pushing your moisturizer into your skin. Sun is basically one of the biggest things that will ruin our skin, give us wrinkles, give us sunspots, give us discoloring. So I usually always put sunscreen on. My mom is always adamant about it as well. I watched Jen M's beauty video and she was using the super group sunscreen. That was like almost like a primer, but a matte kind of see-through primer. And it was just so interesting. So I bought it at Sephora in America. It is SPF 14. It is SPF 40 and it's called the Unseen Sunscreen. So it is weightless, colorless, scentless, oil-free formula. And it works as a primer as well as a sunscreen because once you put it on, it really smooths over your face and it just makes for a really good base to apply makeup. Just look at that. Have you ever seen a sunscreen like that before? It looks a little bit like glycerin, sounds gross, but ugh. But if you are wearing sunscreen for like a holiday or super sunny day, I would recommend you reapply it because it does say reapply kind of every like three hours or so because it's not super strong. But it makes your skin feel so smooth and it is matte because usually a lot of the facial sunscreens, it gives your face that little bit of an extra glow that you don't really want in the summer. So I wear sunscreen basically all year round. At the moment, I'm using the Glossier Balm.com. I have the coconut one and the birthday balm. I think I'm using this purely because it smells and tastes amazing and it kind of goes on matte as well. It's not super great for moisturizing because my lips do get cracked and really dry during the winter, but it doesn't look oily if you can see, like it's not super shiny. Otherwise, the Pawpaw Lucas Pawpaw is always great. That is perfect. 
So that was my skincare routine from all the colder months, um, winter and autumn, the transitional times. And let me know your other favorite skincare products if you have sensitive or dry skin as well. Please share your secrets with me. I would love to know. So I have quite a different nighttime skincare routine where I put on the spot treatments and like the facial masks and a different cleanser. So I will film a separate video for my nighttime skin routine. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I am making one new video per week. Let me know what other videos you would like to see or if there's any other skincare, beauty related videos and comment them down below. You can follow me on my Instagram here and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. I see you in the sky